So once you've got your animation that you want, you'll go to Preview and Export. You could either do it in Vector or Raster. In my situation, since I have a bitmap for the face, if I was to do Vector and just start generating the frames, you wouldn't see his face. So I would actually do Raster. Vector is more like a cartoonish look. You can actually add um, fill-in options and uh, as soon as it stops. Uh, you can make them outlined, have outlines on them, uh, how much of a thickness of an outline. They give it that little cartoonish style. See, there he has outlines. That's vector. Now, raster is basically the stuff I use for my crossing band animations, and you could choose to put in a Swift, JPEG, uh, PNG, which is Firefly, uh, uh, Fireworks. I usually do Windows AVI, because that's why I put it into Pinnacle, and then you say Generate. Now, depending on how much you have in your scene will depend on how long it takes to um, render everything. See, it's telling me I'm going to take three minutes to render 71 frames, and it does it frame by frame by frame. And um, Mecha Brio took me about three days to render everything because there was a lot of elements and it was, you know, about two minutes long. This is only a little short, 71 frames. Um, what was it? Mecha Brio had about 6,000 frames, I think. But this will render. Okay, it's finally done. So here you have all your frames, which has all of the rendering as it did frame by frame. And what you could do is just go over here and press play, and there goes Blocky. He's doing his little jump kick move thing, whatever the hell we just did, the tween. And every element that you just did is moving. See his arms moving, that arm's moving, this leg's moving, this leg's moving, his head's moving, and then the whole thing is moving. And once you have that, you can click stop so it stops doing that you can go into here and choose whichever frames you want to um, actually export you know you can just say I want to export these three frames or you can just say the whole thing by going up here and saying export all frames so you know just either export all frames or selected frames whatever you want uh, make sure you have which format you want it to be in and you say export all frames and we're gonna call this blocky test AVI, Crossing Bound 3, even though it has nothing to do with Crossing Bound 3, but we're going to put it in there anyways. Say save, full frames, uncompressed, OK. Then you go to wherever it was that you saved it at. Uh, I got mine in home videos and Crossing Bound 3. And here it is. And we can just play that. And voila. And you can do all the editing and whatnot to that in Windows Movie Maker or Pinnacle, as like I use. And that's basically how you do simple 3D animation. Now what you could do is turn that off and close that. You can go into here and say Scene Editor. And then you can actually click on Blocky himself and then say file save model and that will actually save the model into your model library so that we always have blo uh, Blocky I'll put him in characters name Blocky Blocky you can always change that to whatever you want you say Blocky doing a certain move or whatever and then say save and then you'll go over here to model libraries, characters, and there's blocky. Now we can put another blocky. Would you like to scale the model to fit the contents of the screen? Yes. Oops. Okay, they just made blocky an epic size, which I probably should have said no, but here's gigantor blocky. Dun dun dun. Then we'll delete him. Go back to regular size blocky. Let me see if I can try that again. No. There we go. Now Blocky's regular size. And we can actually move him to whatever position we want. Then add another Blocky. Say no, because we don't want a giant epic size Blocky. And now, we have three Blockies.
which they're all going to do the same animation. Now they're all meshing into one. Because they're told to go to that position. Which if we stop the animation and move them somewhere else, they'll still do the animations, but they just won't be doing them into each other. And you can have as many blockies as your computer can handle. I wouldn't recommend having more than 50, unless of course you've got some kind of supercomputer that has a terabyte of video memory. Then by all means, go right ahead. Have an army of blockies. It'll probably take, you know, three days to render it all, but hey, kudos to you if you can do it. No, we still want more blockies to go. We'll have them upside down. Oh my god, Blocky's upside down. And then they're all going to just do that animation stuff. Whee! And then you can render that if you've got the time. Oops. Oh, yeah, depending on which screen you have clicked out here will be the one that'll animate. In Swift version 4.5, it'll always animate this screen and never this one. But in this one, whatever one's active, it'll animate or render in the preview and exporter. So there's a bunch of blockies. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, I'm just gonna do a little portion of it. We'll just do two frames. And yeah, well, anyways, it'll render like that, but that's basically it. Um, if you want a model of blocky that doesn't do all the moving, you're gonna have to go back in and delete all the keyframes. So you were to animate, delete all keyframes. Torso, right arm, delete all keyframes. Left arm, delete all keyframes. Delete all keyframes. Delete all keyframes. And uh, we'll delete that blocky. That way, blocky is not going to move anywhere at all. Because uh, when you put this model in, it actually animates, see? And if you don't want that and you want to work with just a regular one, you would say file, save, model on the blocky that doesn't have um, an animation to it, and then just say character's name, blocky, we'll call it blocky still, because he's moving, he's not moving, he's just standing still, like a, just a default blocky. So that way, when you go in here to a new one, you say blocky, here's the one that moves, no. Because we don't want the giant blocky. See, he has he's the one who moves, so he's got all the animations, and then here's the still one. So that way when you got this thing going on, he'll move, but this one will stay still. So that way you can work with it and you won't have this animation messing you up on your next um, work. So uh, basically that's it for right now. Um, I hope I covered everything as far as just the basics. Um, everything else I kind of learned on my own. If you have any questions, just... Uh, Feel free to comment my video and I'll see what I can do on the next tutorial. Alright, see you next time.